New developments tonight connected to an ongoing News 5 investigation. An Akron man pled not guilty to two counts of rape in Summit County today. 51-year-old Derek Fisher is facing charges for a 2010 sexual assault. News 5 investigator Sarah Buddison first told you about Fisher and her exclusive investigation expired justice linking Fisher to another crime. Now, Sarah, there weren't any charges in that particular case. You've got that right, Courtney. In 2019, an Akron mother told us DNA from her rape kit matched Derek Fisher, but Fisher wasn't charged for the violent crime. The reason? Ohio law allows some rapists to walk free. The violent crime where my children were home and he got away with it. For years, Mary Ellen Bryan wondered who broke into her home and raped her in 1991. After Ohio tested its backlog of sexual assault kits, she finally got an answer. My kit was tested. They found a DNA match that came through CODIS and the match was that it was a person named Derek Fisher. But Fisher wasn't charged, never will be. Ohio has a statute of limitations for rape, a law that creates a window of time a crime can be prosecuted. For Mary Ellen, the window was already closed. Punishes the victims. It's another assault on us. We don't get, we know what we deserve. But tonight, she is hopeful another victim will get justice. We found Fisher's DNA matched to another rape kit, a 2010 sexual assault in Barberton. The one he's facing charges for tonight, the one where there was still time to prosecute. Fisher is behind bars tonight. He was already in prison, wrapping up his sentence on a 2016 conviction for drug and domestic violence charges. He's also already a convicted rapist. He was found guilty of a 1992 sexual assault. News 5 investigator Sarah Bodison.